Hello, my name is Graham Allen. This is a short video giving a brief overview of some functionality which I developed, which is aimed at enhancing fine bugs. So here is the fine bugs swing user interface. It's opened a project which has analysed the Eclipse code base, and here we see the original way that bugs are viewed in fine bugs. So we have this list here, and you go down through the tree, and you can view the bugs that way. Bugs are sorted using these criteria that are displayed along here, such as category, bug kind, bug pattern. These can be rearranged to change the sorting order of the list and there are other criteria available for this. So the problem that I found with find bugs was that as a user was going through and looking at bug alerts and finding some they did want to fix and some they didn't want to fix that Finebugs would not react to this so the user was left to continue going through a static list of alerts or reorder them themselves based on the criteria available this is not particularly ideal especially for users who are new to Finebugs so what I aim to do was provide a way for Finebugs to react to how a user classified the bug alerts that they saw uh, it would allow the list of alerts to adapt and show them those that they're most likely to care about first and push down the ones that they're not likely to care about. So I'll show you how this works. It's accessed through this tab here, labeled Find Bugs Training. I'm just going to go into that. We see there's some introductory text information and a combo box for selecting what are called modes. I'm just going to show you the arm rank mode and what it can do. So here we see a calculate button which will allow us to get started. Uh, a toggle help button with some more textual information. So I'm going to calculate uh, the order of alerts and we see that all the alerts are equal. Out of 489 bugs they'll have a score of zero. So at this point the Find bugs has no context of what the user cares about and which bugs they're most likely to fix. So if we just look at the first one, we'll see the alert mentioning that a call to equals is comparing different types. So I've viewed this alert before and I consider that I think this bug should be fixed. So what I'm going to do is change the designation. Uh, the refresh button then becomes enabled. I'm going to refresh that. So, and we see that no longer are all the bugs equal but what has happened is a small number of bugs have received a score greater than zero and they've been pushed up and we see from looking at them that they are a similar alert type to the original bug which I said I wanted to fix so what the, the functionality is doing here is recognizing what, what bug alerts the user cares about and is bringing them to their attention quicker by putting them at the start of the order. So these alerts correlate by the, the type of alert that it is. There's also the locality is taken into account. So if two bugs are in the same method and one of them is a false positive, the other one has a degree of be being likely to be a false positive as well. So if we go back and take that first bug that we saw and return it to an unclassified state and look at it again what will happen when I say that I don't want to fix this bug is that instead of other bugs being pushed to the top the opposite will happen and they will be pushed to the bottom so we see these four that were previously ranked higher now being ranked to the bottom because the user has stated that he doesn't want to fix these bugs we can infer that he's more likely not to want to fix these as well. So this is what happens as a user goes through and views more and more bugs. They see that the bugs that they do care about bubble to the top of the order and the bugs that they don't care about, the false positives, they sink to the bottom. This allows them to view more true positives quicker 
they don't need to concern with themselves with the criteria for sorting the alerts because Finebox is now adapting to the input that they give them and hopefully it will allow them to view all the real bugs before they, they encounter far too many false positives and they discard the tool. So that was a brief overview of the functionality that I added and I hope it makes a compelling case for being included into Finebugs itself. Thank you.